Hello, this is Justin, and in this Oracle YouTube tutorial, we are going to show you how to reset your archive log sequence number. So, to go about this, let's go ahead and log into our database. Oracle SID being finance. And let's connect to our database via the SQL Plus program. We're connected. Now, let's go ahead and determine if our database, well first let's double check our database name, always do this. So this right here verifies that we're connected to the finance database. Now let's verify our what mode, log mode our database is currently running in and it's currently running in archive log mode. And we do archive log list, we see that our current log sequence number is 40 and the automatic archival um, attribute is set to enabled and database log mode is archive mode so we're in archive log mode so let's go to where our database uh, archive logs are being written to this is called the archive log destination which is shown right here archive destination c colon slash database or a data finance archive logs Let's do DIR and we will see our archive logs here. Okay, and you see that they are in sequence 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on and so forth, all the way to 40. Now, um, let's say now these sequence numbers are basically the sequences that these logs need to be applied to the database um, in, the order they need to be applied to the database in in order to roll forward the database to perform roll forward recovery which is basically applying the change vectors and the full changed blocks that are in these re these archived redo log files into the database so now if you don't reset your logs and don't have database recovery or don't do anything like that what happens is these logs will continue to grow these sequence numbers okay and you 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 if, the, if a database has been up and running for years, you could have archive logs, your current archive log sequence could be in the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, really dependent. Okay, so this is, um, so that there's, there's no really, there's no harm in your archive log sequence being, getting that high. I'm not saying that, oh, every, every time you hit the 10,000 mark on your log sequence or something, you should reset it. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. Um, now there are some bugs in certain releases of Oracle software where there's a problem around archive log sequence number 65,000 or something like that. So that may be a reason. But I just want to throw it out there right now. I never had to reset it for a client because um, it was because it would have caused a problem, and I never really recommended it. Oh, you should your log sequence. 572 you should really think about resetting it back down to zero or, or you're currently at your database is currently at log sequence uh, 3000 you should really set it back or 30,000 so I've never really have done that either okay so why would you want to reset your archive log sequence well some of it could be for simplicity some of it could be for um, cosmetic purposes I mean it, it, it really depends you know you want to look at a clean database archive log sequence um, when you perform incomplete recovery, you reset your log sequence. So I mean, you know, there's there, there's uh there are certain reasons, but you know, I just you, sometimes you can't think of them off the top of your head. So that being the case, let's just show you how to reset them. So you go to you log into the database, and we know that currently our log sequence is at 41 which means the last archive log to be created was 40 as we see up here so to reset our archive log sequence we shut down our database shut down immediate closed this dismounted and shut down and we start our database but we stop it at the mount phase of the control file so we restart our database in mounted mode instant started mounted and it stops now because you have to be in mount mode to perform a database an incomplete database recovery so we 
recover our database. Notice that we don't really have to recover our database. There's no reason to recover our database. Um, the control file where the status that the control file says the data files are in is what the data files truly are in. So every so the database is totally caught up with itself. Okay. So the reason why we do an incomplete recovery is that you're going to do recover database until cancel. Oracle's going to see that there is nothing to apply to the database. So it, the database is really not in need of recovery. And the database knows if it's in need of recovery, but it's not. Okay. If it was in need of recovery, we wouldn't be able to start the database. Okay. So we know our database is not in need of recovery. The reason why you have to do that is I'll explain. Let me let me do this. To reset your log sequence number of your archive logs, you issue the command alter database open, but you give it a you give it a special parameter, well, uh, argument anyway, reset logs. And what that does is it resets the log sequence back to zero. But you'll see you get you get an or error message here. Reset logs option only valid after an incomplete database recovery. So you have to do the database recovery step. Even though there's nothing to recover, by issuing that command, all right, it sets some a flag somewhere internally in the database that lets the reset logs argument of the alter database open command know that the criteria to run, to reset the logs via that command have been met, i.e. The, the database has been recovered. So they have been recover database until cancel and it says media recovery complete but it didn't notice how if you did if you've done a user managed um, database recoveries before it did not show you all the archive logs it was applying because there's nothing to apply but we have but we have um, effectively um, met the requirement the prereq for the reset logs alter database open command to run which is we re we did reset logs so now we can type in we can do an alter database open reset logs now what this is doing is it's opening the database but it's resetting the, the archive log sequence database alter and we do select open mode from the database we see that it's totally open and good to go. So now we delete all of our old archive logs. And we have a clean, because they're all useless now, those old archive logs, because we reset our sequence numbers. So now we have so now we have an empty archive log destination because if we take a look at our archive log sequence, it has now been reset to one. Okay, so if we look back here, our archive log sequence is 41. Since we did the reset logs, it's now back to one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch our archive logs out a few times. Well, three times to be exact. And we're going to take a look at our new our new current sequence. Now we're at four. So now when we dir, we will see that there's three of them. So it reset the sequence number from 41. To one. Do it three more times to get six. Archive log list. Current is seven. DIR and there they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just to show you guys that you don't need to open any. You don't need to restart. You don't need to apply the reset logs argument to the um, database startup command in any in any subsequent database startups. I'll prove that you can just shut down and start up, and everything will be fine. So you don't need to do the reset logs again because you don't, you already did it. Now, typically, you would do this every time you have an incomplete recovery. Okay. So if you have a media failure and you have to recover your database via RMAN or via you know SQL Plus, um, which is server managed or user managed recovery respectively, you will uh, you would typically always reset uh, your logs. We do archive log list again, and we're good. So that is.
how you reset your archive log sequence number. Uh, yes, it's true. We can't we can't think of all the scenarios now. At least I can't off the top of my head. I'm sure I can if I sat there and thought about it. Um, but it's it's a good skill to have in the back of your pocket, and it is a question that um, comes that comes up every now and then. I'm asked in, in passing a lot about that. You know, what if I wanted to reset my logs? And people always have, people don't have reasons, they're usually curious, or people do have reasons, and they're reasons you can never think of. 